I show you how to change your uh, feeder ID for your uh, FlightAware account for your PiAware setup that you're running. Uh, if you have another ID that you want to use from like a previous uh, feeder that you had running, say on a Raspberry Pi, and you want to go back to an older unique ID number, uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. It's very simple. All you're going to need is the feeder ID number that you want to change to, which should be under your uh, FlightAware claim page. Uh, it might list them with your IP address, the date, and everything that they were claimed and whatnot. So you just copy that, uh, file, copy that number, and here's what we got to do. Pseudo. Pyware dash config feeder dash ID and right here you're going to put in your feeder ID number. It'll have a combination of letters and numbers and dashes. Uh, <clears throat> it'll be a unique, uh, obviously, claim number. So once that's you have that in here, just hit enter. Then once you're done with that, we are going to restart PyAware. So we can do a sudo system. Let me try that again. CTL restart PyAware. And we don't need the service, we could just restart PyAware. And if you really want to make sure it goes through, you can always re restart your Pi also, <clears throat> which might not be a bad idea. Now, what this is going to do, since you don't, since you no longer had that older unique ID on your stat page that's in your FlightAware account, that's going to add back that site. So, obviously, the, the, the site number that you're running currently on your Raspberry Pi, if you decide to change that number to your new number, obviously, that site's going to be offline, and the one you're bringing back will be the, you know, the primary one for that particular, uh, say, Raspberry Pi. So, uh, <clears throat> I did it on mine, so now, other than having one from, like, uh, from 2020, it's actually showing that it's been on, it's been, I guess, connected since uh, 2015. So, because I think I joined uh, FlightAware around 2014. So, uh, this is one way to uh, change your feeder ID numbers if you need to. Because, like, back in the day, we used to just, uh, like, clone the MAC address or whatever because FlightAware always went by the MAC addresses on the uh, on the pies or whatever you may be running uh, Pyware on. So now they, they've been using obviously the unique uh, numbers for a good while now and this is how you can change it if you need to uh, replace a Pi or replace a SD card and you lose your uh, stats or whatnot that would be a good way to uh, write down your uh, your unique number and uh, you can uh, set up a new uh, Pyware and then just uh, change the unique uh, ID to the uh, new one that you had to replace the SD card or the Pi or whatever may happen. So anyway, hopefully this helps out. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another one. Don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe.